It's the last stop on Kayla's morning round. Each day she visits a dozen homes in her North Indian village to collect human waste or night soil from non-flushing toilets. This work is called manual scavenging, a centuries-old profession reserved for India's lowest class. My family has been doing this for generations and generations. I was married into this village when I was 15, and that's when I started doing this. It's all I've ever done. India outlawed the practice of manual scavenging nearly 20 years ago, but the law is rarely enforced. It's estimated more than half a million scavengers, mostly women, are still working today. They face entrenched social prejudice and are forced to live as outcasts. Socially, even in this country, untouchability exists. So these women still have to face this problem from the society. And they are not allowed, those who clean night soil, human skeeter, they are still not allowed to mingle with the people. Nobody will have food with them. So they had to face the situation socially. In law, there is no, but in the practice, it is. The organizations help thousands of manual scavengers escape the profession into which they were born. They receive vocational training in sewing or cooking, so they, and hopefully their children, can find a more dignified way to make a living. Since I've come here, my kids and I, we've all started dreaming very big. They're determined to do something better and they keep telling me that we'll have a better job. Yet for many scavengers, such dreams are a long way off. Parliament is mulling fresh legislation that would impose harsher penalties on their employers. But in India, the vast majority of towns have no proper sewage system. So there will continue to be work for those willing to do the job no one else wants to do.